90 years since the first Monaco Grand Prix won by William Grover Williams and this place remains the jewel in Formula One's crown. It's the one race that every driver wants to win because the margins for error are so, so small. The greatest drivers in Formula One history have raced on this track and have met with triumph and disaster. The famous main straight, scene of so many fast and chaotic starts down into saint devot the first corner. There's been acrobatics at the start, Coulthard tripping over the Ferraris in 1995. Despair 2, Clark's Lotus jamming in first gear from pole position in 1966, and by the time he was at saint devot the field were racing away in the distance. Past and future champions have been caught out here. Nelson Piquet hit the wall hard battling with Ricardo Patrese in 1985. And 30 years later, Max Verstappen had a carbon copy accident. But difficult corners bring out the true kings of Monaco. Combined with tricky conditions in 1984, rookie Ayrton Senna made this daring pass on Nicky Lauda's McLaren for second in his Tolman. A repeat on Prost would have given him his first win, had the red flag not stopped the race early. Of course, in the wet, you need absolute commitment around this circuit, but in the dry, it's no different. To get the most out of it, you have to be right on the edge every single corner. For commitment, you can't go past an onboard lap with Senna. Every inch of tarmac used, every apex hit. The car is so light cresting the exit of Casino Square, and it looks pretty special from the outside too. Seeing F1 legends exit here full of oversteer before heading down to Mirabeau on the limit is nothing short of spectacular. Passing here is famously not easy, and Mirabeau is not a typical place to get it done. But Stefan Beloff pulled it off here in 1984 using all the track and curbs to pass René Arnoux. Daniel Ricciardo had his elbows out here too, passing Kimi Raikkonen. Did you see what that guy did? He just pushed me off the off his front. He just hit me that I went white, so that's not very nice. But when a move doesn't come off, it's day over. So many have found the Mirabeau wall over these 90 years. But Patrick Tumbe's barrel roll is unforgettable. With the harbour on one side, and the streets of the Principality winding their way up into the hills on the other, and all with a racing track in the middle of it, you really couldn't be anywhere else. But if one corner really encapsulates this circuit, it's got to be the hairpin. This is the shot. Cars full lock turning in through the tightest corner on the Formula One calendar, almost unchanged in 90 years. It's given nimble cars the opportunity to challenge faster ones. In 1961, Sterling Moss's Lotus got the better of the Ferraris, showing superior handling could beat out-and-out -out power. Ricardo Patrese famously spun into the hairpin, losing the lead of the 1982 race, only to inherit the lead again as others retired. It's so tight that it's very hard to pass without touching another car, or indeed, the wall. A clean pass requires the cooperation of your rival, absent in 1989 between De Cesaris and Piquet, and in 2000 between De La Rosa and Button, a car park forming behind them until the track could be cleared. And so from the hairpin, the cars make their way back to the water's edge. This part of the circuit has seen both pain and glory. Two champions have crashed out within metres of each other. Schumacher slid off before the underpass in the wet, giving rise to Olivier Panis's underdog win in 1996. Eight years earlier, Ayrton Senna had dominated the race, but it ended abruptly in a rare mistake at Portier. And that is Senna! Sensation! On lap 67, Ayrton Senna goes out of the lead of the Monaco Grand Prix at the Portier. Far from the pits and far from in the mood to see the team, he walked back to his home as his teammate Prost took victory. And when Lewis Hamilton lost a certain victory through a pit miscalculation, it was at Portier that he chose to reflect. Okay, Lewis, uh, I know you don't want him, mate, but uh, if you could drive around to the Royal Box uh, just as part of the, the wall procedure. As his idol had done 27 years before.
but it's a place for an opportunistic driver to catch another napping, as Hulkenberg did in 2014. But there's, oh, and there oh. goes Hulkenberg down the inside of Kevin Magnussen and Portier. Oh, what a move from oh. Nico Hulkenberg. You're going a long way through the archives to see another version oh. of that. Now here is something truly unique to Monaco, the tunnel. And a truly unique moment in 2004 behind the safety car. Rivals Schumacher and Montoya colliding. The first pictures of the Ferrari exiting with front wheel damage were absolutely dumbfounding. Hang on, this is Michael Schumacher. Michael Schumacher has had an incident in the tunnel, has hit the wall and has knocked off his left front wheel. What on earth happened there? We're not even racing. The exit sees high speed, a flowing corner into a braking zone with a bump that has caught so many out. Button, Alonso, Rosberg, Sato. But the chicane that follows offers a chance to the brave to slip up the inside. Mansell surprised Prost here with a fantastic move in 1991 and Giancarlo Fisichella passed a world champion here too, Villeneuve, in 2006. Now we're right on the harbour, with walls and fences where once there were only hay bales. Tabac Corner right on the harbour has seen two completely different pile-ups. In 1950, waves crashed over onto the track, causing mayhem. And smoke from Takuma Sato's Honda blinded the field behind, causing a rollover for Fissi Keller and a red flag for the race. Alberto Ascari landed in the harbour in 1955, and so did Paul Hawkins a decade later. Down at Raskas, Michael Schumacher had his infamous qualifying moment in 2006, and it's proven to be a very difficult place for cars to pass. And finally, into the final corner. Seen of Michael Schumacher's controversial pass on Alonso as the safety car peeled into the pit lane on the last lap in 2010. Jensen Button was forced to run to the start-finish straight here, having accidentally stopped in the pit lane for his race-winning celebrations in 2009. And who could forget, in 1992, Ayrton Senna holding Nigel Mansell off lap after lap all the way through the last corner in the most intense of battles, the Williams right on Senna's rear wing. For 90 years, the greatest drivers in the world have come here not just to challenge each other, but to challenge themselves against this incredible circuit, which has remained relatively unchanged in all that time. Nowhere are the risks greater. Nowhere is the reward sweeter.